all time, international player of all time. Yeah. Uh, uh, Petrovic. 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 Very athletic in his ability to shoot the ball. He, he, he wasn't afraid. Looking inbound to Petro for three. Got it. Three pointer for the NBA's leading three point shooter. I followed every game. Every game we'd have a draws and watch. See what he did against you know everybody in the league. Kenny Anderson right side. Petrovic against Joe D. 15 footer. It falls. He dropped 30 on me so fast that night, and I'm telling you, I got a hand in his face. I'm right up on him, and he was just like a machine. Reggie Miller told me one time he really loved playing against Petrovic because he could talk trash in four languages. Petro! Oh, look at Petro, right in his face. Out of Pallada, feet. Petro, nice move around Jordan. He had like 40 on Jordan, and he was going at Jordan like, yo, it ain't nothing. Like, give me the ball, I'm hot. I'm taking him. Right away, Petro sending a little bit of a message. Let's go after Jordan. Here's Petro. A couple of steps beyond for a stroke city. That's what I knew. I said, yo, he's arrived. He was confident no matter what shot he took. He was like, just kick it to me for three, DC. Kick it to me. Drazen Petrovic. You got to love this guy. I just started running back down the court with my hands up because it was money. Petro for three, got it! 44 for Drazen! On je osjećao da je ponovo rođen, da je igra, da je prihvaćen, postao je već sretan je bio. New Jersey, svi su bili sretni, evo to, i mi smo bili sretni. Petro, great save! Petro for three, got it! Petro for three, got it! I close my eyes and I see this. He hoped I could play there and I could help you win. Challenge. There's no money that can push you to play better. But if you challenge me, I'm going to kill you. That was him. This is as good as being home, he said. Did you feel any kind of legacy from Dražen Petrovic, the late great Dražen Petrovic, while you were at New Jersey? Oh, he was a legend. I mean, he was one of the first heroes to come over, and, and then on top of that, he had a lot of talent, and it was just unfortunate um, as life was, you know, cut short from the car accident. But he was a guy who played hard and uh, enjoyed the game of basketball. Yeah, I, I mean, you mentioned Petrovic. I didn't expect you to say that. Not a lot of people know knew Drazen. He was the an hardest guy. I. Yeah. And the most frustrating guy I ever had to go against. That was mostly when he was with Portland. No, when he was with New Jersey. Sure. sure. Yeah, that's yeah. when he really made his yeah. claim to Post fame. Blazer. Yeah. yeah. He got traded from Portland yeah. and went to New Jersey and became an all-star and the best the best shooter I've ever played against. Yeah. I, I, I would him. encourage everybody to, to go watch Drazen uh, play. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah. I mean, what was, yeah, can you, can you go into more detail about him cuz you know, he, he really was great. He, he died way too young. Sure. Um, and people today may not, the average casual fan may not know who he was. How was he different than, the, than some of the guys, the great shooters that you played against? People talk about Steph's release being so quick. Yeah. Well, Petrovic. Petrovic had the quickest release I've ever seen. And what made him so unique is I prided myself on working off screens mm -hmm. and you know, working off the big men coming off, yeah. he was just as good. And we talk about footwork. Yeah. Uh, arguably one of the best guys with that footwork at the shooting guard. So. I consider myself, you know, I'm being a little braggadocious here, but I consider myself the best shooter ever. But there's one guy that tops me. <laughs> Vinny? And he got underneath my skin. And the reason why he got underneath my skin is because a lot of times I couldn't understand what he was saying. And it was the late, great Drazen Petrovic. Oh, yeah. This guy... When he came off screens and he started to talk to you, yep. you couldn't understand him. <laughs> he, he smelled like he never Smell. took a shower. <laughs> Maybe it was something complimentary. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. About you talk about wanting to strangle someone. Yeah. Drazen Petrovic was my nemesis. I could not stand this guy, but to this day, I respect him because I think he is the best shooter I've ever seen in my life. Better than Ray Allen. The best shooter I've ever seen in my life. Everything. A couple of them I knew. I remember uh, Detlef Shrimp 
who had played for Seattle and I knew fairly well. I remember walking out at halftime, you know, I was limping, I wasn't playing yet, walking out at halftime with them. <laughs> And he was drag he was kicking rocks and dragging his head and I say, Hey, you, you having fun out there, Detlef? Oh no, this is not. The uh, and pretty much that was the approach of every every NBA guy uh, that we came across except for one, and that was uh, I thought Drazen Petrovic was the one unique person that uh, felt he had a chance. Um, and played like it. And um, you know, that was that was he was the one guy that stood out. Did you ever play against Drazen Petrovic, the late great? I had to guard Drazen. That was not fun. He was now, an amazing player. Now I know they played, you know, two different positions, but who would you say was the, the top for a competitor, the better player? Can you make any of those comparisons? No, they were, they were both great players. Drazen was the better shooter, better scorer. Tony was a better all-around player, but they were, uh, they were both fantastic. Not an Jordan posting Petrovic, ten to shoot. There's a triple team into Purdue who couldn't handle it. The turnover goes to the net. Petrovic. There's that ball fake again, Bob. Did you see him? Free Scotty Pippen. That's twice in the game. Watch the ball fake here. You shooters out there, watch him use the ball fake. Boom. And Scotty buys it. Now he gets his feet together and buries the shot. That's just excellent play. Walker, they want him to take that shot. Yeah, that's, that's where you miss B.J. Armstrong. When you bring him in for defense, you're going to make him make that open shot. Jordan started this break by tipping the ball out. It didn't go to Walker. It went to New Jersey, and the Nets have their second lead of the game. And Jordan Pippen. Well, it's tough to contain all three of them at the same time, so when one gets going and you try to cool him down and use the other guy or one of the other two, steps up. Petrovic, 5-7. Michael's the Chicago little, turnover. Michael's got a little frustrated right now. Petrovic is scoring at this point in time. He came off a nice screen, and you can see Michael is trying to take the challenge. He's chirping. The double clutch, and he'll drain that one from 13. Wanted the foul from 18. Rebound, Morris Petrovic. There's that pump fake again with the ball. And the George for the lay-in. I don't know how many times I've seen Petrovic do that tonight, but he freed up Tate George that time. The defender flew by, made the nice play. Simple, fundamental basketball. Eight-point goals lead, Jordan. NBA and its players extend heartfelt condolences to his family and friends. Please join us in observing a moment of silence in memory of Drazen Petrovich. <laughs> 